This is a time of year when people from China here in the West are yearning for a taste of home. Recently, they got just that with a traveling show that wowed audiences at the Beijing Olympics in 2008 and the 2010 Shanghai Expo. It was the first time, though, the show was performed here in the West. Performances in Toronto and Washington took audiences on a journey back in time to experience the rich history and culture of China. Forty-one dancers from China perform this epic dance drama. This stunning, incredibly graceful spectacle recently wowed audiences at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. But this is more than a dance performance. It's a daunting test, as these dancers must bring to life a painting created hundreds of years ago. This is an artistic recreation based on a painting from 1,000 years ago to depict the lifestyle of the Northern Song Dynasty. By watching the show, the audiences will feel both the dynamic and static beauty of the painting. It's not just any piece of art. This performance is inspired by the most important scroll painting in Chinese art history. The 18-foot-long scroll painting is called Along the River During the Qingming Festival. This masterpiece is frequently described as China's Mona Lisa because it is seen as a national treasure. It's now in the collection of the Palace Museum in Beijing. The whole program introduces the elegance of Chinese culture. We deliberately select a period uh, famous for its subdued elegance. It's an eye-opener. Working on this was an eye-opener for Gerald Song. A lover of history, it took him a year of research before he was finally able to create this show. It's performed by two dance companies from China, the Hong Kong Dance Company and the Guangdong Song and Dance Ensemble. The show weaves together the intricate stories of the people of the time. From fishermen to farmers, the common people at the market, and the artist at the heart of the show. He is the observer, always there, willing to peer through the umbrellas, to capture their lives forever in a work of art that will stand the test of time. We are combining traditional dance and modern choreography together. And in fact, modern Chinese aesthetics are very close to aesthetics of the Northern Song Dynasty. We want to show the elegance and simplicity in Chinese art and culture to international audiences. And they did just that. 